for joining us. Today we'll be speaking to our political strategies on matters, politics and BBI. And right now I'm joined by Maina Karobia, who is a political, uh, uh, political strategist, just to talk to us on several matters. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for hosting me here uh, in Switch TV. The current matter dominating the political space is uh, the endorsement we have in ODM, uh, you know, versus the whole NASA brigade. And also, Deputy President William Ruto yesterday talked about uh, being endorsed by President Uhuru Kenyatta that he does not, uh, you know, require it. What does all these endorsement thing mean? Kalonzo, Mudavadi, and Wetangulas of this world are facing a tragedy, which I think they are still into the past that 2013, 2017, they feel that Raila Odinga owes them a political debt. But I think they are, they are not conversant with the, the landscape of politics, where that politics doesn't have poli uh, permanent enemies and permanent friends. So I think uh, in 2022, we are going to find new coalitions, new alliances, and I think the coalition of Modavadi, Vatangula and Kalonzo should be ready for this. I think they shouldn't be answering each other back and trying to position Raila Odinga as if he will be having a political debt for them in 2022. We heard the Deputy President William Ruto speaking in Kakamega County that he does not need to be endorsed by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Yet back then in 2013, they had a deal of Uhuru 10 and Ruto 10. Does that mean the whole deal is now dismissed? Politics or Kenyan president have all been real men. No president at a particular time in this country has been endorsed by anybody. From Jomo Kenyatta, Daniel Moi, Moi Kibaki, and uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. All of them, they are, they are real men. And I think when uh, uh, Deputy President William Samoy Ruto talks about him, being, him walking the journey, and I saw last week talking of he will walk this journey, even if it means walking alone, he wants to be a real man. Well, we had uh, the control of budget writing uh, to uh, the SRC on the sustainability of the car grant that is amounting to almost 4.5 billion. What do you think uh, the fate of the MCS is? Because, you know, we understand it might delay for some time. I'm not uh, surprised that this particular letter is coming at a, at a moment whereby it is now appearing that MCS across the country have started buying into the idea of passing BBI. So they have already started to buy into the idea of passing the BBI without enjoying the privileges as promised by the president. So we are going to find a situation whereby it will be another, uh, another issue of cat and mouse whereby the MCS, you will find them issuing pressers in uh, one month time, talking about you are promised and you are not given. You now find MCS going to the streets, like the way doctors and the teachers are going to the streets because of unfulfilled promises. Well, thank you so much for your time. That has been Maina Karobi, a political strategist, talking to us on several matters, including BBI and politics, and of course, uh, the contentious issue that is now dominating the political space on endorsement. My name is Joel Chacha, reporting for Switch TV.